it's Monday 7, August 7. We're gonna do the Silver Valley. Uh, so today's the last day. We're actually already driving back to Spokane, uh, to Idaho. I'm sad to leave Montana, obviously. I'm very sad, actually. Stay here, but something exciting and I can't wait is happening in two days, so I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, actually, I can't wait. So, it, it's actually pretty great, it makes me think a lot, you know, less sad. hydraulic machine which is 10 times more powerful than this one they can drill in for a quarter of a mile a half mile a mile and bring out those cords this used to be the richest silver mine in the world right here on 3100 from that point to that point right there that's six miles this elevator right here goes down to 5,700 feet. It's a counterbalanced elevator. What that means is when we're riding it down, the ore's coming out on the back side. It's like this all day long. Or a little smaller. To them. I'm going to take this dynamite. I'm going to put it directly in the mouth. We'll ignite the dynamite. The dynamite or the ammonium nitrate has to have a concussion in order for it to blow. So that's what the dynamite does. Then it blows up the ammonium nitrate. We got one hell of an explosion. When that first one goes off, it leaves a cavity like that, straight out. The next ones to go, we call them a knot three. Three milliseconds. Hmm. I don't know what it is in your country. Milliseconds too. Do you know what a millisecond is? Same, yeah, Great. same. Okay. Water because of all the groundwater that's in this mine. Whoa. That's crazy. See the quartz veins right there? Yeah. That's what they saw outside. Oh my. They saw that outside and they followed it all the way in here. Wow. There's some silver right there, folks. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah. This is what I worked on in the mines, folks. It's called an Einkold B12 mucker. This is what they brought in in 1960. Big bucket will come up and dump right into that. Here we go.
right, everyone. I made it back to St. Louis. I just arrived at my hotel. It is it's the French time. Almost nine. And I'm living in six hours. Uh, actually, six hours and a half to Florida. <laughs> I have a flight at 6, so I gotta be there at 4, and it's already night. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is take a shower and go to sleep. <laughs> but I think I'm not gonna be able to sleep because I have a lot of emotions right now. I... I am very sad, like really sad that the tour ended. I feel like I, I, I filmed a lot, and I do hope that what you've seen so far kind of reflect well what I lived because it was fabulous it was fantastic it was just it was awesome guys it was just amazing i'm just you know i'm very sad it was like a dream and, and it you know came to an end that's a wrap i'm in st louis but i'm getting on a flight in six hours to florida florida you say not florida florida um and that is super exciting and 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 i honestly i can't wait can't wait to discover another part of the country and explore and i can't wait especially to see my friend it's gonna be awesome and i can't wait for that it's weird you know i think i'm very tired for you know from the whole trip and all that and it's late and, and I'm sad and then I'm happy for tomorrow. So many emotions. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. But I mean, it was great. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, it's always the same thing, you know, living far away from, it's just, it's annoying. I got a little bit, bit of sunburn uh, in, in Montana. Anyway, I will hop in the shower and try to get a few hours of sleep and we'll see you in the next vlog or in the next video or tomorrow. Well, I don't know how I'm going to edit all that, but next time I'll probably be in Florida. I mean, I will definitely be in Florida. So, yeah. I feel like time has stopped and at the same time. 